oh, I'm probably going to get some shit for this video, you guys, but I'm so emotional right now, so I don't even care. Yesterday, well, no, let me backtrack just a little bit. Okay, I don't go to church. I don't make my kids go to church. Sometimes Maddie will go to church with the lady that lives across the street if they're going and she wants to go, but I, I don't go to church. I don't make my kids go to church. When Miriam was little, um, we used to always go on Wednesdays, sometimes on Sundays, but mostly on Wednesdays, we would go to Joel Olstein's church before he moved to the big um, building downtown. It's just really, really hard to get down there with Miriam in a wheelchair and everything else. But I did love Joel's church because he was more of just like um, about giving positive messages and telling really good stories um, than like shoving every word of the Bible like down your throat. And um, there's a lot of things in religion that I don't agree with, and there's things from other religions that I do agree with, and I kind of just take um, things from all different religions, and I just kind of run with that. And those are the values that I instill in my kids. Um, I just don't, um, I don't know, I'm not going to get any more further into why I don't go to church, but that's pretty much it. I just, um, I don't, I don't make my kids go. And a lot of the churches that are around the area that we are in are not as open-minded as Joel's church was. Um, so yesterday Maddie came home from school and told me that a little girl, that's her friend, told her other friend that her aunt is going to hell because she's a lesbian. And, um, I was just really shocked. I, I was just, and then I spent an hour explaining to Maddie that um, everyone is different and that, you know, people are born that way. They didn't make, this is not a choice. They didn't wake up one day and say, I'm gay now. They were born this way. And I don't know who she's going to be or what she's going to be like when she's older. And I don't want her living in fear of what she may or may not be when she's older, um, or any any anybody for that matter, not just her, but anybody. And I was just really offended that this little girl um, took it upon herself to, to say that, not only to my child, but to my child's other friend. And I did, for the first time, tell Maddie, like, okay, well, um, I'm not saying to be mean to her, but you are not to hang out with this little girl anymore. And I've never told Maddie, like, don't hang out with them, but I don't know what else is gonna come out of her mouth, and that's what scares me. And Maddie is just very sensitive, and she takes everything to heart and everything very, very seriously. And she was just really, really concerned for her friend's aunt yesterday. And um, I've always raised her, like, you know, there's boys that marry boys, there's girls that marry girls, there's, you know, guys that have more than one wife, and it just, it takes, um, you know, it, it takes all types, and if we were all the same, I've said it a million times, the world would be so boring, um, but I was just really offended um, by the fact that this little girl would say such a thing, and then Maddie went on further to tell me that her dad is a preacher. And, um, and I was like, well, there you have it. So, um, I won't let my kid hang out with the preacher's kid. Um, I, and I don't know if that's crazy or not. I, and that's why I wanted to make, I, I just like, mm, I'm not, sh I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't get on and talk religion with my subs. Um, but I, I feel close to you guys and I feel that we are connected well enough that you will be honest with me and give me your honest opinion. And, um, I'd, I'd like to hear him. I'd like to know what you would have done in this particular situation. And um, I don't want it to be a big debate about um, our, our beliefs and things, you know. And I did um, explain to Maddie that the book that this girl got this from is a book that's been revised about a billion times. You know, it's like a game of telephone or like a gossip game or something. And... Um, I think that there is a lot of value in that book, um, but I, I, I don't think that everything in that book is true to how it started. And um, anyways, I told her not to hang around that little girl anymore just because I'm scared and I don't want, um, I don't 
want my girls or anybody, anybody who may be watching this video that may be younger, you know, I don't want you to fear um, your your future, what, you know, what may happen if, you know, one day you wake up and you realize that you are a certain way that maybe goes against that, you know, and it's not, um, you know, not what we were talking about it on my Facebook. One sin is not greater than the other. And my friend Heather was pointing it out. You know, there's adultery, there's greed, um, premarital sex. There's so many different sins in that book. And, um, and then Nicole was like, you know, he without sin cast the first stone. And it just, you know, I posted it on the Facebook and it got really interesting. And so I thought that I'd come on here and post it with you guys to see what your thoughts were. Um, am I a bad mom? for not letting my kid hang out with the preacher's kid or am I right on this one? Am I just being over dramatic? I don't know, but I definitely don't think any child should fear um, or, or live in fear like that of, of, you know, what their lives may be later on. Um, and and I, I hate that. I hate seeing that. I hate seeing people who um, you know, I, I know a few gentlemen who are married and are miserable because they're, they're actually gay, but back in their time, so to speak, that wasn't as acceptable as it is now. And they stayed married and, and their whole relationship has just been like a lie. And I just, I think that's really, really sad. And... Um, I'm going to end this with love who you want to love. I pulled this stuff out. It says hashtag gay is okay. Um, I thought it'd be perfect for this video and for a thumbnail for the video. Um, I bought this from Lush Soap. They had it a long, or Lush a long time ago. They had this soap and, um, I never used it because I thought it was so cute and I didn't want to mess up the words on it. But, um, in my eyes, it's okay to be gay and I love everybody. I don't care, um, what you're doing as long as you're a nice person and um i think god probably feels the same way so i love you guys and y'all let me know down below in the comments if i'm a crazy bitch or if i made the right decision all right talk to y'all later bye